Nowadays, there's only one way to describe the kicking game at the high school level, and that is that it's pretty much non-existent. But that's not the case for the Freeport Pretzels, who have an exceptional kicker. His name is Joe Namio. I got the chance to spend some time with him and see if my right leg was up to the challenge of being a kicker. What's the most important thing in kicking that I should uh, be concerned um, about? Probably just contact on the ball. Okay. Like if you have consistent contact with your foot. Okay. So what's the furthest that you that, that you've ever kicked? I made one from 55 this summer. The other day when we had the ridiculously fast winds, mm -hmm. I made one from 60. But I, I'm not going to count that because. Yeah, you got to count it. It's. Oh, well, I mean. Technically, but you gotta count that. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been kicking for? Since eighth grade, okay. so about five years. Okay. I know you play soccer, right? Yep. What position are you at soccer? Uh, I'm mainly defense. What's your favorite football team, and what's your favorite football team? Favorite football team is Green Bay Packers. Okay. I'm I was Packers I was fan. thinking you might say Bears or Packers. Yeah, okay. Packers. Uh, favorite football team. That's a hard one. Uh. Probably Bayern Munich. Bayern? Yeah. Okay. What's a better feeling, scoring a game-winning goal or kicking a game-winning field goal? Or yeah, I'd out? say game-winning extra point because it's all on you. Field goals, it's still a team effort, but everyone looks at the kicker and right. they don't usually see everything that goes into right. it. Right. Why don't you show me how it's done, then I'll attempt and then you can critique me. Okay. Line it up, two steps over. Right down the pipe. So, kind of walk me through your mentality when you go when you're going out there to kick a field goal. What's your, what's going through your mind? Try to stay confident. Once you have the thought of you missing in your head, you're gonna miss. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I realized. That's kind of. So just, I gotta think right now. Just think I'm gonna make. Think I'm this. gonna make this. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little concerned about hitting the team that's right over there. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best okay. not to do that. Stretch your groins. I'm so concerned that I'm gonna hit somebody here. That wasn't that's, as bad as I thought that was. That's promising. Be. I'll take that. We're only up from here, though. We gotta, yeah. we gotta get it going higher. If that's as bad as it is, thank you. Looking pretty good. All right, let's try this again. Second try. That's how it's done. I that's mean, it's in. It's not pretty, you. but it's in. Perfect. That was a very good ball. I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, that was really good. That was really good. What do you say? Should we back it up? Yeah. Five yards? Let's go back five yards. All right. Every time I make it, we'll try and back it up. Okay? Deal. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think we back it up a little more. <laughs> All right, let's back it up. Get it. Yes. That's good. That's how it's done. 35 yards. Coach, you need a kicker? You need a yeah. second kicker? I think I got some eligibility left. Let me just say how impressed I am with your kicking. Thank you. I was pleasantly surprised <laughs> with uh, how well I did. I also want to thank Joe for coaching me up. I could have done it without him. And to Coach Deadman for letting me take up some of his practice time. Thankfully, I did not kick it into any of his guys standing off to the side. Joe is taking his powerful leg to St. Ambrose next year where he'll kick for the Fighting Bees football team. We're going to be right back.